We discussed Dr. Skinner. Besides intermittent reinforcement, he invented a teaching machine called, not surprisingly, the Skinner Box. The box asked you a question, you gave an answer. This was in the tradition of scientific management of education. It is still used as programmed instruction, but an experiment in the 1930s added a layer. The Hawthorne Western Electric Plant in Chicago was studied by a management scientists wanting to bring in human factors like better lighting. They found that whether light levels were turned up or down, productivity increased. The experimenters soon realized that social factors such as group cohesion and perception of being studied were key drivers of the performance. The workers were heroes. They were noticed. Instead of abandoning it as a failed experiment, the social study of management was born. A decade later, another researcher named Joseph Campbell discerned from world religion and mythology a fundamental structure which he termed the monomyth or hero's journey. Its stages are the common day, the call to adventure, extraordinary trials, help from a wise mentor, achieving the goal or boon, self-knowledge gained in the process, return to the ordinary world, application of the boom. This was ancient Greece, divided into states, each ruled by its own king. The king of Thebes was Androcles. <laughs> the mighty Hercules and his son Hylas were loyal to this brave ruler. Oh, I'm the king of Thebes! <laughs> A very good idea. Even if they are criminals, there's no reason why they should be sent to the death. But what about us? For us, it's different. We set out on this voyage of our own free will. Well, at least you did. Now can the three of us navigate this ship? Three? You mean two of you? Huh? One shall man the sail, the other the helm. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will work out wonderfully. <sighs> you get back to him. He's there he is. I don't want intruders on my island. Leave here now, or you'll be dead by nightfall. Proteus is dead. That is his blood. This rocky cliff, the whole island, is Proteus himself. He nourished himself on the blood of you and other victims. But now it is all over. You think so? It was my people who left me as a sacrifice to prevent him from destroying them. When you killed him, you went against the will of the gods. No. Without the help of the gods, I would never have succeeded in slaying that monster. And the gods will help us again.
you saved all of Greece. <laughs> Any educational game can harness this format to make the learner a hero. By definition, a student starts from the common classroom day. Announcement of a game appeals as a call to adventure. The student is encouraged to identify with a hero, for example an avatar character in a virtual world. A boon can be announced as prizes or rewards and the intrinsic value of the curriculum subject matter. There are trials in the form of puzzles, clues, tasks, and competitions. Students may work in groups and be asked to reflect on what they've learned about the subject matter and about people. The educational goal should be demonstrated as something that will be of value at least in later life as well as in some more immediate applications such as easier passing of exams and assignments. A career can be thought of as a hero's journey and as a meta game. The daily tasks are the gamelets. With the right guidance, he will perhaps tame the awesome bomb. Maybe even join the Space Patrol or go to Washington, home office, USA. I could give you some down-to-worth reasons why I'd study science if, if I were the age of you two. There's no doubt what we need trained scientists. Well, I've had my year of general science and I see no reason why I should take another course next year when I'm a senior. I don't want to be a scientist. You have quite a while left to decide what to be when you grow up. You can't choose yet, but you can look around while you are growing up. For homework, think about a career about and how its stages might fit the hero's journey model. 